we're doing now guys is running over these some of these contours to find some good drops or places the fish can hide uh, there's a front come in I guess last night and early today and I think the fish are kind of hunkered down and what Jason's doing we're, we're kind of just kind of cruising around neither one of us been here or fished it that much me in general but him he, he don't fish this area that much so we're kind of kind of cruising around and familiarizing ourselves with it and finding some some decent decent holes now it looks like we're not showing the fish on the side side view as much but the sonar is picking up a few fish here and there but the fish are kind of hunkered down and kind of in the mud itself mud and silt Jason what's your interpretation of where we're at here well right now what we're looking at we're just out in the middle of nowhere right in the middle of the river channel uh, we got some contour lines running north and south it's created uh, got some holes coming off some ledges running directly you know north and south across the river so we got quite a bit of current today so this is the kind of place you want to look for because these fish are going to be able to lay in these holes like this and uh, get out of the current yeah, that looked like a little fish right there yeah, on the one side. One right there. Yeah. We're just hanging real tight to the bottom. Yeah, you they're said, not. You said something about them not. We're not picking them up on the side skin and stuff, and the sonar is getting them. It's uh, mainly because they're burying themselves down in the mud. Yeah. And uh, well, we can pull them out with our 2D here. We're just uh, looking in this area, fixing to make a few anchors to see what we can come up with. Now that's one, that's a fish right there, ain't it? Yeah, it is. That's he's a, a big one. Yeah, he's a nice one. <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, that's a shadow. Uh, that's I'm a nice one there. Structure. Yep. Hanging right real tight that structure, isn't it? Put a waypoint on that bad boy. Now we'll be able to, now he's waypoint that, we'll be able to go back up and situate our boat above it and we'll throw into into the uh the fish and see if we can get him to bite there's never a guarantee that they're going to bite we can look at them all day long but you can't make them bite that's for sure now that there don't look bad either well, i'm liking that a little, a little more structure on the bottom yeah we're getting closer to this other bank over here it's, well, I would have a lot of wood wood cover on it too. Yeah, this would be considered somewhat of the slow side. So a lot of times your slow side holds the most structure because it just lays down. And uh, some stuff there. That don't don't look bad. Jason. We can do a lot more looking in here. We can, you get, boy, you can probably spend all day right in here and never cover it all. Right. Yeah, that's a lot of unique structure. Uh, I think it's well worth the shot. Yeah. Make, I'd at least make three, maybe four acres in here. Yeah. You could actually do more than that. It just all depends whether you want to keep working. Right. Or you want to just move on look at something else. All right, guys, we're about ready to set up on this big fish that we spotted. As you can see, Jason's getting situated here. Yeah, got to judge the wind plus the current. Try to get us our best anchor. Yeah. Just when you think you got it, wind shifts. <laughs> oh, yeah. All 
All right, you tell me when to throw that anchor. We'll throw that anchor. If it holds true, we'll be right on, but I need to pull up just a little bit. Season anchoring. Know how much rope you got? Use your waypoint, your distance. Hey guys, you can see your distance right here. Is that correct? Yeah, that's 126 it. feet from that fish. Yeah, we're gonna let this. We're gonna let this boat uh, go on back here about 100 feet. I'm gonna throw this pile. Slowing the boat down. We're 88 feet away from that fish. 85. 82. Slow this boat down. 79. Yeah, guys, this is what you call precision anchoring. All right, looks like we're about 78 feet from the fish. 78 feet, that's about perfect in this kind of current. We paper them baits back there behind the boat and see what happens. Let's get started. 